Well, this is an exciting time of year for you know just about any basketball coach, and certainly is for me because uh, we've gotten into practice now about four weeks. Uh, we've got our first exhibition game coming up, uh, I think, next Tuesday, uh, and we're starting to point toward that. Uh, also, we're starting to find out some things about our team, our personnel, particularly the new, new guys, and um, putting the pieces together. And I think it's coming together. Uh, pretty well, obviously never quickly enough, but uh, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities. Uh, as you mentioned, the new Big East, the con that configuration, um, Fox Sports 1 being our major carrier, f national carrier for, uh, for the Big East, uh, just so many things that uh, point toward exciting times to come. Well, I, you know, I don't know about a luxury, but, uh, you know, we got seven new guys, so and, and, and several of those guys are six, eight or better, so that does make us uh, bigger and stronger. Now it's up to us to, to uh, you know, implement that strength in, in, into our offenses and defenses, and uh, as I mentioned, it, it's exciting trying to do that right now, and I think it's going to be good for us. Uh, one of the major problems that we've had over the last couple of years is rebounding the basketball. Certainly size and strength helps with that. And uh, so we're looking forward to seeing what our, you know, our big guys can do. Is that tougher for the new guys? Just trying to put all these pieces together so short amount of time? It is. Uh, anytime you've got uh, you know, a lot of new guys, that uh, makes the learning curve a little steeper, uh, makes it, uh, the process a little bit longer. Uh, but uh, when you, they're better, <laughs> uh, you know, the end product can, can be better. And uh, we need a size and strength. We've got some. Uh, we've got some perimeter, perimeter players. Uh, young ones that we're very high on from a talent standpoint. So we'd rather have new, bigger, and more talented players and then figure out how to use them uh, in the best way. Uh, Billy's uh, done, a g done a really good job of picking up things. He's got a high basketball IQ that's showing up. He still is uh, inexperienced, and we're asking hi him to do a lot. We're asking him to play off the ball and on the ball. Uh, we're asking him, him to make plays, but we're also asking him to make shots. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's done a tremendous job so far. Obviously, uh, he's important to us, uh, and we're looking forward to his growth. Well, it's always good, and, and one of the things that uh, we're, we're, we're experimenting with, uh, with Cleese, because we're bigger and stronger inside, is, is moving him out away from the basket some, playing him more on the wing. Uh, he's adjusting to that pretty well, and uh, you know, we hope that continues because that will allow us to play much bigger. Coach has some big wing players on the team, so things <coughs> like that. What does that allow you to do as a coach differently, you know, just matchup wise and, and just game wise? Well, rebound the ball, first of all. You know, bigger front line. Um, should equal to us being, uh, you know, a more formidable rebounding team, uh, for sure. Uh, it makes you long on the wings, as you mentioned. Uh, when we go to some zone, it makes for a big zone, uh, you know, and a long zone. Uh, with Cleve out on the wing, and we've got some big guards, so uh, it does uh, it does point you in, in, in a certain direction if he can continue uh, his progress out on the wing. Well, I'm expecting Cleveland play an awful lot and probably start, and it's just a matter of where. Uh, and uh, so we're, we're taking a long look at uh, him playing out on the wing. Well, they, they've given us a uh, foundation, and, and they've won a lot of non-conference games, not so many in the Big East. Uh, one of the big things that uh, I would like for them, and more importantly the team would like for those guys, is to go out uh, on a winning note in and out of conference. And, and, and that's really uh, you know, the only thing they haven't accomplished, uh, is really having an outstanding season uh, as a team. And, and that's the direction they're pointed in. And we've got a good foundation. We've got some better players now. We're bigger, stronger, deeper. Uh, now it's up to them to provide the leadership to get us over the top. I, I don't think necessarily so. I, you know, as I look at the conference schedule, I, I what what night off? There's no nights off there. Uh, I do like the fact that it's a smaller league, uh, easier to scout. You know your opponents better. You play everybody twice. Uh, I, you know, I think it, it allows you to get into a certain rhythm in terms of preparing for opponents. Uh, and, and even going into um, 
the uh, conference uh, tournament uh, where you might play somebody three times. And uh, so uh, I like the configuration, but I don't think it necessarily uh, makes for an easy, easier schedule. You still play 18 games, and you're playing against outstanding teams. Creighton, Butler, uh, Xavier, uh, you know, we all as, as basketball people know what they've done over the last four or five years, and uh, they're going to bring that to our league. Well, it, it bothered me from the standpoint I'm a competitor. Uh, you know, I don't want uh, anybody to think of us as last, but it also motivated me, uh, and, and I think it will motivate our team to uh, uh, to prove to uh, the media, prove to the other coaches that, uh, you know, we aren't the last place team in the league, and I don't believe that we will be. And so I, I, I look at it as, as motivation. Well, we're, we're hoping so. He, he appears to be all the way back. He certainly is playing hard, and uh, as anybody, he's playing as hard as anybody. He's providing energy. Uh, so we're hoping that he will stay healthy and provide us with a spark. Depth, yeah, yeah. No, I think we are pretty deep. As, as I mentioned, we're bigger, stronger. Uh, you know, I think we're deeper. Uh, so I, I do feel that we can, uh, you know, go to our bench and whoever will be on it. We haven't determined who all is going to start yet, but uh, you know what that says to me is the guys that don't start are capable uh, of starting and, and that we're deeper. Well, again, that's what we're trying to figure out, how much uh, up and down we're going to be, how much zone uh, we'll play, uh, how much, how big we'll play, uh, and, and certainly how small we'll play. And I think those things will determine, uh, you know, our style of play uh, a little bit more than in the past. Um, well, we had all of these guys over the summer, except for Greg uh, Sakalis, and... Um, not really anybody that stood out. I thought all of our guys improved. They were here all summer working, working hard. Uh, not anybody in particular that stood out. Uh -huh.